Hey, this is Dee. Uh, we really want you to enjoy the show, but I will warn you, there's a great chance we offend you or somebody you know. So don't take it personal. This is not to say that we don't take our critiques. I'm fucking drunk. <laughs> An opinion, seriously. Dude, when I fucking tr- I'm trying to read this, I've been celebrating so much, I'm drunk. Sorry. So much, so much for the familyness of the episode. Look, here's the thing. Uh, this is a season finale, so just enjoy the shit, okay? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I think I remember how this part goes. I think so. Kid. I'm gonna need help. I'm gonna need help. I got my own rock band. Nobody, Nobody cares. cares. I got a million plus fans. Nobody, Nobody cares. cares. So I can rock the mic. Nobody, Nobody cares. cares. I got a song you might like. Nobody cares. It's a nobody cares show. We are the greatest. So make sure you come back after our hiatus. So it's time's last show. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to miss you, dog, but not in a giveaway. <laughs> the season's at an end. Bye. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what we the got crap? Joe and Coco, and here's the reason, because tonight is the end of our very first season. Oh, <laughs> for real. Nobody cares. I'm on a Nobody, Nobody cares. cares. I play a mean guitar. Nobody cares. I'm a superstar. Nobody cares. Bye 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 bye. bye, bye, bye. Oh, la, oh la, boy. La 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 la. la, 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 la. Oh boy. It's not that again, please. <laughs> oh, so you gotta you gotta end the way we started. That's right. With your la la means I love you. Crap. You know it. You like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, welcome. Shoot you one day. <laughs> welcome to the Nobody Care Show. If this is your first time, uh, you should have came sooner, but it's okay. That's what she we said. Welcome you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he Ooh. said, actually. <laughs> 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 uh-huh. All right, well, uh, don't be mad. In case dude. you don't know who I am, my don't name is mad. Jekylls, and I have my good friends around me as always, JJ Diesel. He come in. I was drinking. Sorry. Dick. <laughs> What's going on? Shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot you! I swear. Oh, tiny, aka hey, little homie. AKA. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Hey, hey, that's the same way as saying also known as a what's up, aka hey. <laughs> that's tight. That hey, is, hey, that is tight. <laughs> Jekyll, you gotta trademark that. Hey, aka hey, 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 hey. hey. Oh, I'm gonna throw man. that in the slot. That is tight. And I'm gonna make it sound tight yeah. too. And people go, what? That's oh sick. man! All right, um, O squared via <laughs> the internet. What's up? A.K. <laughs> hey. A.K. <laughs> <A>. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. And little Joe is now Papa Joe. Hey, yes, I am. Thank you. Hello. Congrats Congratulations. You. Your nuts work. And to little Matt. All right. Yes. All right. And we have a special guest host I'm not going to mention yet Ooh. because it is a surprise for the moment. Wow. But you will soon find out. Wait, why am I? <laughs> wait, wait, I'm, you look, said her I'm name looking. Already. Yeah, you actually already said her I name did, in the verse. But, but, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to tell you. Fine. Here's how it goes. Fine. We're all on the show. I got little it. Joe and Yo Coco. Okay, I'm not going to say her name. It's going to be a surprise. All right. well, we've been trying to get Coco. <laughs> we've been trying to get Coco on the show for a very long time, so it's great <laughs> that she's here for the season finale. So, Coco, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. In case you don't know, that's also mm. Diesel's wife. <laughs> yeah, that's the one that puts up with me. There it is. All right, oh so uh, what we do here on the show is we listen to independent artist music. We critique it. We're not professionals. Wait, real quick. Yes. I just realized right now I did a freestyle right now, and it was really good. It was really good. Yeah. I just want to see what you guys thought of it. <laughs> it was It was good. I'd buy the album. I'd buy the album. I'll, I'll iTunes it. Better than what? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I got it. it needs a beat. Oh, because you're a rapper and now we're battling. You can't <laughs> fully support me. Okay, we no, got, I'll, I'll we buy, got beef, I'll buy whatever. The al- I'll buy the album because i got to study your techniques now. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't sweat the technique. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we, like I was saying, what we do on the show is we listen to independent <laughs> artist music. We critique it. Lil Joe did a vote. And we're not. Uh, buy the album. We're, uh, <laughs> we're not professionals. Just, you're a dick. But uh, <laughs> what we do is we give you the, the honest opinion of the average consumer. So. We're going to let you know if we really like it or not. And that's pretty much what we do here on the show. Yeah. So with that in a nutshell, I'm going to turn time over to Tiny and get the show started. All right. NobodyCareShow.com. Check it out. Check it. Uh, let's see. Respect it. <laughs> Don't neglect it. <laughs> <laughs> Elect it. Number one. <laughs> Make sure you reflect it. <laughs> <laughs> or intercept it. <laughs> No spammers because it's well protected. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
now I'm affected. <laughs> we like your music, not rejected. And if we like it, it's selected. There it is. Woo! So, Freestyle. Man, that's pretty good. I think you guys use all the acted words. I know. <laughs> I Except for detected. <laughs> <laughs> That was good. Now I feel dejected. No, <laughs> <laughs> Joe, anything? No, no. I he can't. is erected. You don't know what that means. I don't know what a boner is, but I have a baby. I have a kid, man. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Oh. Your lady doesn't know what that means. <laughs> no erected for you. No erected for you. Directed. Uh, <laughs> directed. <laughs> That's a negative boner. So if you want to leave us a comment, you can email us at nobodycaresshow@gmail.com. All serious? <laughs> no. You gotta turn that around so I can read the. Yeah. You get Please it right, get dude. somebody. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thanks, Joe. Um, yeah, uh, or if you want to leave us a voice message or a text message. Uh, oh. You can call us on our heat line. You can call O. <laughs> <laughs> Just give O a call. He's not doing nothing. Uh, He's he, in Mexico. 909-907-HEAT. That's 909-907-4328. Uh, make sure you check out uh, Jay and Dirty Bob show. Uh, I think they're on official hiatus too, no? Uh, well, we actually are because our um, the guy that helps us out is in Mexico. <laughs> And there's a chance he may not come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you we're actually a little a kumse kumsa. We're not sure if we're coming or going yet. So yeah. yeah. There's a little bit of trouble. He's still learning how to swim. So once he figures that out, yes, he'll be back. That's have true. a season finale. <laughs> yes, we, we can have a season finale for the JMB show. Yep. There you go. Oh, that sounds good. Uh, so if you want to catch up on the episodes, you uh, you can subscribe on iTunes. Go to the iTunes store, search J and Dirty Bob Show. Jab. Subscribe. Download <laughs> all the episodes. There's like. Eight or ten. There's ten. There's ten episodes, so you can get them all. Catch uh, up quick. Yeah, catch up real quick. Yeah. It's worth it. Uh, yeah, I think we're, it is. we're going on hiatus after a mere 163 episodes, so. Yeah. Yeah, so if not you missed many. a couple, just go ahead and catch up quick. And the thing is, really? it's not that we've run out of anything. It's we want you to catch up, so we're yeah. you're welcome. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna say it's your chance to catch up. Whoever you know, whoever's caught us in the middle or at maybe show 85. Yeah, exactly. We want everybody to be on the yeah. same page when we come back for. And that's two. a lie, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> but it sounded good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, let's see, Jane Dirty Bob Show. If you want to leave them a comment, you can email them Jane Dirty Bob Show Gmail dot com, or you can leave a voice or text message on their heat line. Nine zero nine five four seven heat nine zero nine five four seven four three two eight or eight two eight five do work eight two eight five three six nine six seven five. All right, and with that, we're gonna get into the first song of the evening. Uh, this group goes by the name of Streets with a Z. Um, at oh, the end. that's real street. Yeah, yeah. that's that's gangster. That that's is hood. street. That's hood right there. That is street. Yeah, they do hip hop and rap music. Oh, no out of right Savannah, there. Georgia. That's odd. Savannah Streets. Have been grinding in motion since early 2004. These creative, articulate songwriters are a multi-talented two-member hip-hop rap group, Streets, uh, representing the struggle, grinding through throughout 912 Seaport, Savannah, Georgia. Streets, the most talented unsigned Did they just give duo. Give us their address. Their zip code yeah. because they're they're describing where their struggles taking place. Oh, I thought yeah. they gave us our whole address. No, no, that's a nine one two. I was gonna send them a bomb if it sucked <laughs> and blow Seaport. their faces up. Oh, maybe uh, it's their area code. Yeah, the most talented oh, okay. unsigned group, uh, unsigned duo, has shown hard work and great improvement to the music industry. Streets have much potential and can perform their skills with marketability. All right. Wow. Okay. Uh, the name of the song is called Straight Up. Yeah. And that's uh, that straight is spelled S T R eight. So not the Paul Abdul way. Nope. <laughs> straight up now, down if you really wanna suck balls forever. Oh oh oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh what? <laughs> oh oh oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. It's not true. Uh, see <laughs> Yeah. So here's uh, streets with straight up.
Not bad, huh? That was pretty good. <laughs> Why? Wow. MP3? Yeah, let me try that again. <laughs> You guys are ridiculous. Ridiculousness. All right. So yeah. if you want to check out any of their music, you can go to myspace.com slash streets. <laughs> Look at Kugel's like, with what? us. Streets with us. Why am I no, you know what? This was one of the smartest songs I've ever heard. You know why? It started out like crap, no, so they no, stopped hold it. Up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> it's called Straight Up, and it was straight up eight seconds long. That's what you had. You did waste a good joke. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> you wasted it. You guys should have heard because he had a great joke yeah. off the air. Yeah, I did. Dude, I'm telling you, this guy's like Richard Pryor when he's off the air. But and as on soon the as the lights go on, it's, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Can you explain? Coco had a look of befuddlement. Can you explain to her why this just happened and why the artists are retarded? Uh, yeah, they sent us a like four second clip of their song. Their fault, not ours. All right. Yeah. Well, the, the beat sounded like it was going to be like a Goody Mob song, which I probably would have enjoyed, but... It mm-hmm. sounded like it was going to be good. Yeah. So... It, interesting. I don't know if it's going to be good, but interesting. I was getting, I was going to give them the benefit of the D. That means the doubt. Got it. That's street right there. <laughs> Got it. That's just laziness, actually. All right, so... Uh, Are you done with your your little info? Yep. All right. Oh, unsigned.com slash streets. All right, Jekyll's you want to critique or what the hell am I critiquing? Hey, whatever you want. What the crit- hell am I critiquing? <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hey, whatever you want, hold buddy. On. I want to say this. See, I think uh, Tiny did a very good job pressing play and getting the song started. Thank you, Tiny. Thank you. Oh yeah, feel it. Feel it. Uh, oh, I feel like uh, six, there seven. might have been potential here, but I will never know because I never got to hear them once rhyme. Yeah. That was it straight up eight seconds. Yeah, it was. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Straight up oh, eight shit. seconds. Yeah. Right. But uh, here's the thing. Uh, I guess the struggle in Savannah is so rough that they couldn't afford to do the rest of the song, yeah. so it never got recorded. That's a rough. Know. That's a struggle. So uh, right. Diesel. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Honestly. Why? Why are we still talking about this? Um, because that's part of our show. Yeah, we like to give all our artists their day up. All right. Okay, you guys are dumb. <laughs> first of all, um, it actually, I actually, I think, was the one that was enjoying it the most. Probably. You know what I mean? I thought it sounded cool at the beginning, and then nothing. So thanks a lot. Um, it's like a little, I don't know, like a little gangsta you baby know we should song. Do? We should, we should take that little was. piece and make our own song to it. Good. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, we'll make it better. And it'll, it'll be, be a song. It'll be longer than eight seconds. I'll tell you this. So uh <laughs> So longer than little Joe's love life. Yes. Okay. Uh by two. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you an extra eight seconds, buddy. Thank you. I'll take it. Hey, that's like uh two full rounds and like uh riding the bull, <laughs> so I mean that's actually pretty solid. You're welcome. So yeah, it started out good. Thanks for letting me down. That's where I'm at. Yeah, you guys suck. There Tiny. you go. Tiny? Uh, yeah, you know, I, I didn't like the effects they had on the instrumentation, especially those uh, those, those strings. Yeah, I like those. Don't, don't. That's cool. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't like the echo effect that they had on that. The sounds were cool. I think they could have used different effects. But you didn't effects. like the Jekyll effect. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Jekyll effect. Did I say laughing. echo? Nobody yeah, does. I meant <laughs> Jekyll. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, uh, you know, the intro could have been a little stronger. That's All right, Coco. All right. Um, I actually really liked it. I thought it kind of uh, reminded me of something I would hear from like Haunted Mansion or something. Yeah, <laughs> nice. So I, nice. Was, nice. I was actually really getting into it. And I was like, okay, I guess the hip hop. Kind of waiting Mansion. for it to start, and, but then. I guess it's last. Yeah. How about oh, oh, <laughs> lost me. All right, good. Jekyll's yeah, we lost you in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Jekyll, what's your vote? Um, never listen to. Yeah, it how again? can you on vote purpose? on this? Yeah, uh, never, never. It's a never. Never. Hey, you get never, 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 never. 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 never ever. Unanimous. Never, never. Everybody, never, never, yeah. ever, ever. Coco, never. Mm, I guess never. Yeah. Okay. We're never <laughs> gonna listen to this again on purpose, guys. Um, you know, we don't, we normally don't do this, but we're gonna allow you to uh, try to send us another file. So we can actually no. play a song. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. 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 We're not gonna allow them. Uh, just send no, us a are show. You, are you making up rules? What's the like hat? I mean, cause what's can, the hat? Can that really count as a song? Hey, man, we had other people send us. It's a submission. Crap like this. 
people have sent us wrong files, and we've yeah. said, like, go bone yourselves. Yeah. So All right. Sorry, streets. Hey, but Jekylls, hey, what a way to try to be an executive producer. <laughs> <laughs> I figured since it was uh, the season ending, I was going to cast my name in for a vote, but... No. Nobody Not else no. voted. No. <laughs> there it is. All right. Well, let's go into something that will take up more than just eight seconds, and that's JJ Diesel's Jibber Jabber. <laughs> I'm talking, Dude, about, I'm talking about sex. Don't laugh. <laughs> she laughed when she when you said eight seconds. Oh. Damn you! <laughs> <laughs> don't tell my secrets. <laughs> Hey, if that's all it takes, hey, more power to you. Hey, As Joe hey. would say, you got yours. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. You got right, yours. Right. That's on you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you need to catch up. <laughs> anyway, I want to say this real fast. I, uh, you know, most most of the times when I'm uh, cruising around, I see a uh, license plate like frames, and they're usually stupid. You know, yeah. like. Like the stuff like Little Joe has. I'd rather be fishing. Whatever. <laughs> this one was good. It said, serving cock since 1986. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the frame said. Are you serious? Yeah, and it was in a Lexus. Dude. I that's thought that was awesome. I would not want to be her father. Like That would bother, that would bother me. That was a guy. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's even worse. Why? That's awesome. Serving. Serving cock. Not taking. Yeah, not taking cock. Oh, are you okay? okay he's, like, he's like, oh, sorry. He's I'm up. out of it. I'm tired. He's confused. I'm tired. I'm drunk, and I'm mo- more coherent than you are. That's weird. Yeah. So anyway, here's the thing. I just oh, this what's is thing? this is dumb, right? What'd you say? What's up? What's my thing? Is that what you just said? You said what's the thing? Oh, I'll tell you what the thing is right now. Thank you. The thing is uh, so aggressive. The thing down your throat. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha again. Zing. No. Zing. Don't get mad, Joseph. Don't you don't get mad, buddy. Come on. I'm in my jibby jibby. Oh, come sorry. on. So anyway, <laughs> yeah. Ha, ha, have you? I just noticed this actually today, and I've thought about it, and I just thought it was. Have Have you seen those USA socks? The people that wear like those little like foot socks, but they say USA on them. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone that wears those is not from the USA. <laughs> have you noticed that? It's always like a wet back. <laughs> I'm not kidding hey, around. Hey, they're just being supportive. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you, foreigners, for wearing our <laughs> USA socks. Because real Americans don't wear USA socks. So I want to say thank you. Oh, man. They did around 9-11. You did around 9-11. <laughs> and then uh, I thought this was funny. Uh, you guys already know I got a new water heater because the old water the heater. The one's out- outside? Yeah, because the other one's outside, right? Uh, 30 feet from us. What's funny is, what? Oh, what? Did we just lose O? Am I in Pac-Man? No. Oh, oh there he is. There he is. There he is. I missed you. So anyway, um, I'm in I'm in Lowe's getting a a water heater, right? So this guy's like, hey, if you give us like the uh the serial number, or whatever, like the number of the uh water heater, we might be able to get parts for you. So I'm like, okay. So I call Shorty, um, because she's at my house. I'm at Lowe's. She's here at the house. I go, hey, I go, can you take, because we have a blanket around it to keep the hot water hot. I go, can you rip the blanket off and tell me the serial number? She's like, yeah, yeah, sure. So what it is is I borrowed a pencil and a, or a, actually, yeah, a pen and a paper from someone that worked at Lowe's. And I had it on speaker because I needed to write down the number she was giving oh, me. No. So, you know, people say like, oh, you know, A is an apple, like, you know, D is in David or whatever. She's like, F as in fart. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> and I looked up at the guy and I go, this is my mom. <laughs> and he's like, what the? And she's being so ridiculous on the phone. And I actually talk. She doesn't even hear me because she's so into herself. I'm like, she doesn't even know she's on speakerphone. I said it that loud. And she's like, F as in fart, A as in apple. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Dude, I told oh, her like man. a week later. I go, remember when you were like telling me the number at Lowe's? She's uh-huh. like, yeah. I go, remember when you said F as in fart? She goes, yeah. I go, you're on speakerphone. She was like, what? Why didn't you tell me? And I was like, I didn't know you were going to say that. And I go, I was almost embarrassed, but I'm like, I'm not the one that said it. I'm like, why am right. I embarrassed? Right. I just, I go, it's my mom. Yeah. I looked at him and he was like, like, what the hell's wrong with you guys? So I want to thank her. And then something else that's funny is she was actually um, at her job. She was, uh, you know, she's a preschool teacher. 
Uh, she works for a dumb bitch. And uh, she was in there, and she was cleaning the restrooms. So she's alone in there. You know, when you're alone, like, no big deal, you know? So she's <laughs> cutting these loud-ass farts. Bram, 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 getting a fart on, right? She comes out, and a teacher is just staring at her. <laughs> or, I mean, I'm sorry, a parent. A parent was outside listening to her. <laughs> Cutting all these loud ass farts. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, hey, she shortly told me, she's like, when I looked up, I knew she heard me. <laughs> Dude, I'm not joking. Oh, that's I, great. I thought that was hilarious. Then a couple things, um, a couple things I've been watching, obviously, A Thousand Ways to Die. Hmm. Oh. Coco hates this show. Great I, show. I know. It's a great show. It's, scary. it's a I, guy show. I was going to say, yes. I think it's a guy show. But sometimes... I know some girls that like it. But they're yeah, they're just not in this guys. room. Yeah, I think it's a guy show. But here's the thing. So, I, so, like, all the stories are cool, but I just like the names they give them. It makes me laugh. You know what I mean? Like, And what's funny is they make the people that died look like such retards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? Like, you dummy, you deserve to die. Yeah. So, there was this one. It was a... Uh, this guy and or this this uh man and wife and he was like an absolute dick and like he mistreated her he pretty much you know he would like degrade her uh abuse her pretty much mentally and physically like he gave her a black eye and she's like I'm leaving I'm out of here you know what I'm saying like so she got on a plane I don't remember where she was going doesn't matter she 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 gets on the plane and this is before they're they're even saying like right, this is before nine eleven so it was the, the security was it was pretty lackadaisical so he actually snuck on like to the cargo like where they put the um like the suitcases and stuff well there's not the protection the same protection as there are for people so basically when you get that high of altitude it gets to minus fifty degrees so he pretty much like froze to death. And the uh, the caption was the mild die club. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was hilarious. I was like, this poor guy, like, I mean, not poor guy because he beat his woman. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, shit, a black guy or whatever. And uh, but he snuck on and jumped on the plane, and he didn't know. Well, I wouldn't know that either, though. I wouldn't think that it would get that that I, cold. I wonder what his plan was. Like, what was he gonna do? Jump out? Oh no! Oh oh! Are we, are we losing? Oh uh, oh! Run! They're after you again, oh. I was trying it. Oh, La Migra. La Migra. Angra, 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 Eva. La Americanas, they're going to bring you here. What? Can you hear us? They're coming in the chopper. You don't hear the chopper? Oh, oh we, we lost, lost them. them. Oh, no. <laughs> you tried. That's okay. <laughs> and then and then I was watching uh, Operation Repo. I thought this was funny. They were repoing a car that was basically, that was a... Uh, you know the the people the, the driving schools. Oh, oh are you back. kidding? Yeah. Hey, there he is. We're doing the show here live. I know. Come on. <laughs> oh, the show is live. Are you joking? What are you gonna? It's F not me. It's you guys. You can't just come and go like as you please. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, I'm already I'm over it. Sorry. I'm watching Op Repo as we call it. Um, and it, they Another were. Another show I hate. Yeah, she does. They were repoing a, a a car like at a, a driving school car. Mm -hmm. Well, the the guy that was the going to be the trainer, like he uh, he obviously doesn't own the car, so he's like, what? Like he's listening to what they're saying. They're like, you know, pretty much, hey, you know, your company hasn't paid for the car. We're taking the car. And he's like, oh, mm. okay. The student driver was the one that was getting all riled up. <clears throat> he was like, well, I paid and this and that. And they're like, okay, we'll refund like this, like relax. He was like. I want to get, like, you know, I want to get my lesson. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and they, they're like, dude, like, get out of here. Like, seriously, like, you're not anything involved in this. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to get your money back. Or you're right. going to get to go in another car. Right. So this guy's going like, yeah, I was supposed to drive today and all crazy. And, like, so he jumps in the car and locks himself in there. And he tries to take off, but he goes forward into a fence. Oh, man. <laughs> and he takes out and runs. Uh, <laughs> he opens failed. the door and runs away. <laughs> yeah. Failed. I just thought that was so funny because I was like, "You're such an idiot." So then they just, like he he went there on a skateboard. So they grabbed a skateboard like like the big fat white one. She was all, she's like, "Here's your skateboard. You be riding it forever." She threw it at him and like the and the I think he lost his deposit doing that, or lost his money because the, the uh the driving instructor 
started getting mad at him and was like, you know, like, what the F are you doing? Like, you just cost us money. Like, you're paying for all this damage. So he jumped in, ran into a fence, and now lost his $500 deposit and is paying for all that damage that he caused with the car. Good job. That's what happened. Oh, my gosh. We're going to have one of those. <laughs> in about 15 years, we're in trouble. We're going to be on Operation Repo in 15 years. <laughs> so look for me. Oh, my gosh. And then uh, do you remember how I was telling you guys about how uh, <clears throat> when, when I get uh, surprised by a uh, – when someone talks to me and I'm like, ah, ah, and I talk all weird and I don't, I don't mean to. Right. Now I do it on purpose. Oh, uh, okay. After, after the show I thought about it, I just thought it was so funny. I make myself laugh apparently. When, some, when a customer asks me something <laughs> – and and I don't and I don't because I don't work there obviously I work for the, you know the company that provides the stone and the rock and you know I don't work for Home Depot yeah. so whenever a customer goes hey what's this I go huh <laughs> and they have the time they don't ask again for some reason I think it's funny to go huh dude they like they look at me like what is wrong with you and I just go back to working and I ignore them and they stop asking me questions. So nice. I have now officially, I think, kind of gotten out of helping customers that don't apply to what you're doing. Yeah. I mean, if someone's like if there's an old lady like trying to grab stones and even if it's not mine, I'll help her out because it's an old lady. You know what I mean? And but you'll hand it to her and she'll say, thank you. You go, huh? I go, huh? <laughs> I'm going to try that. I'm going to try it. I'm not, I'm not kidding you. If someone asks you, hey, can you do this? Huh? They look at you <laughs> like, what are you joking? Do it again. They're out of there. Yeah, I'm going to try to see if I can do it right. Okay, now here's what sucks is I just told you I'm helpful, right? <laughs> uh, I'm so helpful. This happened today, and I, f I still feel bad about it. Um, wow. Yeah, I know. I don't usually feel bad about things. I feel bad about this. <laughs> There's this uh, lady from, I don't know, I'm from Europe, I guess, foreign land, if you will, <laughs> if you're Joe. <laughs> um, and she was like, she was like trying to like get some manure, you know what I mean? Like she's mm -hmm. trying to get some soil or whatever. And they're like big bags. So I go, Hey, you know, do you need help? She's like, you know, like, Oh yeah. I was going to do an accent, but it's going to probably sound Irish, whatever. She's like, Oh yeah. All these have holes or whatever. And I, that is Irish, but she wasn't Irish. She was from like England or something. I don't know how to do an English accent. So. I go, well, you know what? I go, if you want, I, c I can help you out. Um, how many bags do you want? Oh, just one. So I take it. And here's the thing. Like, she has, like, two kids with her, right? She has, like, a little boy that's probably, like, one or two. He's, like, in the in the um, basket. And then she has a little girl that's, like, four years old. I can't. She's pretty much in my blind spot. You know what I mean? <laughs> so. Oh, no. I grab the soil and oh. I turn around. And my left hand punches her in the face, and I oh, knocked, oh my God. I knocked her on the floor. Oh, <laughs> Why do you gotta work so hard? I was trying to hurry up. You're, okay, you're I had banned from helping people. Dude. I had stone to stack and rocks to crack. Okay, here's the thing. I w yeah, yeah, and jaws to crack. I don't know what, dude. I was like, okay, let me help you. <sighs> Dunk. Oh my. I'm like, are you okay? Oh, she's okay. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, are you, are you okay? She's like, um, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, son of a bitch. And I was like, am I going to get sued? Like, what's going to happen to me? And But the mom was so cool because she was just glad that I helped her. And she's like, no, no, she's okay. She's okay. And I was like. Oh, my God. It was a little girl? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I Dude, I swung the soil around and hit her in the face and knocked her on the floor. <laughs> this happened about 12 hours ago. That's awesome. Dude, I felt so bad. And I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. Like, do I? I mean, I don't, I'm not her dad, so I'm not going to pick her up and hold her. But I was like, oh, like, are you sure you're okay? Like, oh, I'm sorry. And I was like, not bad. Like, so then I started trying to be funny because I'm trying to, like, make her forget that I punched her and knocked her on the floor. So I'm like, ah, not so bad. Like, all stupid. And she's like, I don't know. I'm like, oh, I got to go. So I took off. So then I go and, and, like, do my stuff. And then as I'm walking out, of course, they're checking out. And I'm like, are you okay? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, 
Um, you're good. I don't even know what I. Say. I don't even know what to say. Like, I don't know what to say. I'm so like. Usually, I have some some like kind of agenda. Looking for a lollipop or something. Usually, I, I I usually know what to say in most situations, and I'm so lost for words, and I feel so bad still. You know what I mean? And I was like, oh, you're tough. I don't even know. And I was just like, um, oh, like, and I looked at the mom. I was like, oh, bye. And so then I'm getting in my truck. And I'm loading my stuff up, and then, you know, they're out there, of course. So then so then I'm looking out there, and I'm staring at them, and I was like, do I go over and, like, like try to give the girl a high five or something? You're like, hey, we're cool. You know what I mean? Like, okay, you're creepy, dude. So I didn't. I think I, I made the uh, right. Yeah, yeah, dude, you did. Hey, you did. Stop stalking. You did. Yeah, seriously, yeah. I, I'm so on the verge of being a stalker because I was so, like, I've got to make it right with this, like, uh, I would have bought her a pony if I could have because I felt so bad. I didn't know what to do. So that was my day. And I punch the little girls apparently and knock them on the floor. Nice. That's what happens. That's how That's how I do it. What do you do for work? I knock out little girls. Yeah, no, that is street. Okay, you think you're street? You ain't street till you knock out little girls. They're street. Straight up. Yeah, I'm all the streets, whatever. So that's pretty much how it goes. So thanks uh, for listening. And thank you, Diesel, for your jibber jabber. Yeah. I can't believe I punched that little girl in the face. The bad guy. It's pretty awesome. I felt her cheek on my knuckles. Oh, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, all. I'm trying to be serious. I swear, I really did. She's like, I know. Oh. Everybody over here is like, oh, man. I was just like, oh, Yeah, <laughs> O's lap. You know what? O's worse than I am. Well, that's because in Mexico, things like that happen every day. <laughs> Things like that are funny. He's, he's like, really? My niece got stolen, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I wish you got a slipple, a simple slap in the face. A slipple? A slipple? A slipple? A slipple? I do. Oh, man. We better get into some music, Tiny. Help us out. Uh, R-O-C. Uh-oh. Rock. All right. Does R and B? Oh, that was tight. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. What's up, nobody cares? Show. It's the Rock. It's your boy Foots here this time with R O C. He is one of my artists, but he also has his own group called Market Fresh. The name of the song is called "Be There." Market Fresh. This song is from his upcoming mixtape called "The Opening." That is dropping later this year. All right. Are we going to get a copy of it? I wish. Yeah, are we going to get a copy? Foots? Wait, wait, let's hear it first and see if we want a copy. No, oh. I want a copy. I don't care. All right, I want a copy. If it's free, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> For real. Uh, Give it to me. All right, so the song's called Be There, and this is our OC. Be there. Mm-hmm. Okay, ready, set. Go. Yeah. Now why is it that I can go a single day without you? And why is it that when this night I'm always thinking about you? Eleven months, man, this shit been going good Cause it's getting to the point where I can talk to someone without talking about you Sixteen and never knew a love like this Any nigga that look at you wrong is on my list I'm a big dude, a lover, not a fighter But fucking with my girl is bad for your health So please don't even try to bite this Dress to impress so she always stay fly Her love is like a girl so I guess I'm always hot Hit her voice every day, that's how a nigga get and it hurts me to have a call me when she's ready to cry But she's incredible, natural, determined, yummy, amazing She's from me, if you didn't know that spell something Try it and y'all gon' see that it's I-M-E-Y-A and R-O-C I'm gonna be there no matter what the situation You know I mean that, just call me the Hesitation, girl, cause you my everything, cause you my everything, girl. Cause you my everything, baby. All you have to do is call, and I'll be right there. I'll be there, baby, just call. Without this money in the world, you can have it all. 
I'ma be right there to pick you up when you fall And I'll be there to help you when your back's against the wall There's not a lot of people that I would show my feelings for There's not a lot that I can say that I would go to war I used to be closed in, but you opened up the door To show me everything that this world had in store Damn it's almost a year, and when I think about it, it brings me a single tear. I want you to know that you should have no fear, cause throughout all the fussing and fighting, I'ma still be here. But she's incredible, natural, determined, young man, amazing, she's from me. All right, that, that was Be There by R.O.C. Um, if you want to listen to more of their music, you can go to myspace.com slash taking over CEO. I'm already there. My um, thing. It's so good. I'm already there. If you want to get in contact <laughs> with them for anything, <laughs> you can email legendwms at aol.com. Uh, I Let's do it. Thank you, Tiny. All right, Jekyll, start it off here. Okay, ROC for my baby. My baby. <laughs> No, it's be there. Uh, I'll be there. Be there. Whatever. <laughs> make it up. Make oh, it up. Wait, he said R O C for my baby. Oh no, that's he, right. He, he went up strong too. At the beginning, he said for my baby. My here's baby. here's my question: If it's for your baby, why'd you play it for us? Uh, really? Um, <laughs> exactly. Well, what's up with all your whispers underneath in the hook? That's kind of stupid. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the the hook was weak. The singing was weak on the hook. Uh, delivery Weak. needs to be better. I understand, I understand you're only 16, but uh, the delivery can be better. better. Lyrically, it was fine. <laughs> nothing, that, <laughs> nothing that really impressed me. Impressive. Uh, and you need just, you just need to be, you need a more swagger and have a smoother swagger. delivery, dude. Some old <laughs> and that's the situation. Some, some old spice. situation. Yeah, there it is. I'm done. All right. I'm done. <laughs> Diesel. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I thought it started out good. God, God. <laughs> Here, here's the thing: when when, when you're uh, when you're on the mic, you kind of need to back off it. Just a little bit. Don't be like, "That's a little. That's <laughs> what I want to say." <laughs> like, back off the mic, dude. Seriously, you, you were a little too close to. I almost smelled your breath. You were so close to the freaking <laughs> mic. Um, and you know what? Your voice is cool. It's not great. It's all. It's like kind of average. It's like it's really. It's 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 not bad, but it's not great. You have the the way I see it is your voice could kind of be lost in the mix with lots of other things. I just no, don't feel like you have a. Here. I don't feel like you have a standout sound as far as your voice goes. That was awesome. I didn't understand a single thing he whispered. Yeah, I didn't either. He said. <laughs> That's what I just said. That's what I just said. That's what I just said. But um, I don't know. You say it on beat. Yes, that you was did good. Say it on beat. That was you stayed on good. beat. That was a good job. Um, although you were talking, so I don't know how <laughs> impressive that is. You weren't flowing. You were talking. Yeah. Talking. I I did it myself. Sorry. Oh, that's cool. And yeah, the, as far as the hook, the harmonies were a, a wee bit off, <laughs> just a little bit, um, just enough for me to notice. Tiny. So, honestly, I mean, I think the song is just even if you did it right, would still be just an average song. To be average honest with song. you. Uh, you really? I, I mean, I don't think it's awful, but I, I just, I just think Please. that. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you're right. <laughs> I, I just think that even if you, if you did the song to your like, you know, as as great as you can do it, it'd still be just a cool song. This song really didn't grab me. Didn't have anything to grab me. Your voice didn't grab me. I'm sorry. Um, like I said, you're not a bad talker. I mean, rapper. Grab him. You're not a bad. You're not a bad rap talker. Hip hopper. Um, hip hopper, whip Tucker. I don't know. <laughs> so I don't even know what the fuck I'm. What the f I'm saying? Whoops, last show. <laughs> so I, I just want to say that I mean I just think I just think you definitely need a a lot more work. You know what I mean? You, you really do. Um, you know how to stay on beat, which is good. A lot of people He's don't. Only Sixteen. So you you know hey for you, sky's the limit. I'm gonna say that sky's the limit. Limit. So uh. <laughs> Just keep working, and uh, I know there's not much you can really do about your voice. You know, it is what it is, kind of. There's only so much you can do with it. But I think you should kind of play with it in the sense of maybe changing cadence and trying to actually rap instead of talk. Um, and get those harmonies a little uh, a little tighter. And um, that's kind of it. But the intro I thought was cool. The music I thought was very cool. But other than that, it's kind of just an okay song for me. 
All right. As for myself, uh, I like the uh, the beginning song. I thought it was gonna be a pretty cool song. So it tricked you too. Yeah, it did. Because <laughs> I, I, I liked how it came out low. You know, he's talking or whatever. But I thought it was a little too low in the beginning also. But I the kinda, levels were off. Yeah, but I, I I like how it came came in like low. Then like okay, then we'll see what we got. But then it wasn't as great as I thought. What's he saying? <laughs> That's why no one's whispering underneath them. <laughs> All right. What the f? <laughs> um, what are you saying? <laughs> I want to agree, but <laughs> speak clearer. Uh, All right. Uh, I thought the the beat was uh, easy listening. It, it was yeah, the, I thought the beat was cool too. The beat was cool. I, li- I like that. I don't know I if think it's an original part. though or a mixtape. Oh, is it a mixtape? Mix well, it's, it's going to be on his mixtape, so I'm not hey, sure if it's original or not. But it was cool though. Original. <laughs> it was cool. You're drunk too. You're, hey, we're I'm just both. tired. You know what? Yeah. I've had enough drinks for both of us. It's okay. There it is. All good. It's taking effect on me now. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, but I thought his voice was uh, okay at best, but it could be worked on since you are a little young. Potential. Sky's the limit as the diesel. When say. your balls drop, maybe you get a little deep voice. Look at the hey, hey girl. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the hook, hey, yeah, they already said not that strong, but uh, let's work on it. And uh, Tiny, what do you got? Uh, yeah, you know when I when the song first uh, started playing and I was listening to the first verse or whatever, you know, I I wanted to slam it, you know, for all the reasons that have already been mentioned. <clears throat> but as the song uh, went on, uh, you turned into Paula. Don't Maybe. call me Paula. <laughs> I'm gonna punch you in the face. <laughs> As the song went on, I uh, I said, you know what? Maybe maybe just a couple of adjustments, and this thing might be might sound a little bit more like radio ready. Yeah. Well, yeah, more like radio sounding. I don't know. Mm. I don't, the the song in and of itself is just so so for me. Um, say, but definitely, say, say. if you if you mess with the levels, maybe bring down all the vocal levels. Uh, bring them down a little bit so that they blend a little more. I really didn't mind the whispering in the back, but maybe because it was so Damn. what? Yeah, may, maybe it was maybe it was just because of, you know so loud or something uh, that you know yeah, maybe supposed to be whispers, not, <laughs> <laughs> not yells. So here's what I do. What I do? <laughs> Calm them down. Calm them down yeah, just a little bit. The whisper. The whispers are a little louder. Yeah. Than- <laughs> Situation. It was like it was like the situation was in the back. Yeah. I was saying situation. Oh boy. Yeah, but basically, you know what what these guys said, and I think I think Diesel uh, and Jekyll's and Lil Joe, you know, touched on it. Uh, if if you got if you can just uh, you know work on your delivery, work on your delivery. You sound you just kind of plain. You didn't have any emotion any emotion behind it. Uh, it just sounded like you were just spitting words or whatever, just saying words and not even spitting. And so, you know, just work on stuff like that and, uh, you know, work on your mix and then try to get a little more creative with your hooks. I think the hook could have been strong. I, I think the whole song overall could have been strong. You know what? That's actually a good point because I thought that, um, you know, he, he was on beat and all that stuff and I thought his voice wasn't great. But actually what you said may fix it is I didn't even mention that. You're right. Emotion. Emotion might change it. Mm. You know what I mean? You're right. If It, it did sound like he was like. Like he was just reading off a paper, like then or then or then. Here's what I did. You know what I mean? And he may not even have to. Ch- even if you have an average voice, and like you said, if you give emotion, that gets the listener involved. Yeah, it's like he was you know? talking to his girl, but all I could picture him is he's probably reading it off a paper, talking to his girl while he's looking down at his feet, not even looking her right in the eye, because he's like, I don't really want to be talking to you because I'm nervous and and I hate you and you haven't even you. blown me yet or exactly. whatever the yeah, case exactly. is. <laughs> that's that's what I'm exactly. You know, you know, it's funny. I had a funny thought too, because he said in one of his lines, he said, "Dressed to impress." Yeah. So my girls always lie. Every time I hear that phrase, "dressed to impress," I always think of uh, the Boys in the Hood uh, movie poster. Oh yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. I, you know, I think I know of what the, you're about. the flat top fro. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> and dressed to impress, no? Little no. Joe. You has guys don't get Little that? Joe has one. <laughs> flat top fro. You guys don't get that yeah, same image. I do Just now. No. Just to impress. I, no. Okay. I do now. Thank uh, yeah, you. Yeah, I don't know why I always think of like a uh, late eighties, like uh, or early nineties gangster movie, like Kid and Play. You know, like they gotta, do, they gotta do what you gotta do. Kwame, all those guys. <laughs> <laughs> Kwame. Kwame Brown. <laughs> or Kwame. Uh, Kwame. Oh, remember that group? Oh. Yeah, Kwame. Kwame. You said Kwame. Oh, <laughs> group Kwame. I remember. I stand that. corrected. I was like, I stand corrected. I was like, I've heard of Kwame. Kwame. <laughs> <laughs> Kwame. It's like saying yeah. Sade. Kwame, I like Sade. 
Sweetest taboo. <laughs> you mean side day, dummy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's where I'm at. All right, Coco. Okay, well, um, this is not really my genre. So Microphone. Kinda, sorry. It's not really my genre. A little bit. And anyway, but I did like the music. I was like the guys. I was kind of, um, the whispering was a little off-putting. Yeah. But, um, Off pudding. Int- I like that. <laughs> yeah, it's a creepy guy. It, it was Girls are going to find that yeah, creepy. She's all creepy. <laughs> it was, it was a little saying. creepy, but <laughs> I, I did like the uh, the lyrics. The lyrics were pretty good. Um, it kind of reminded me of like an early 90s kind of R&B song, maybe like a Keith Sweat type of, I don't know. Ooh. Kind of a, Ooh. But, um, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you send me <laughs> But overall, like, I really like the music. And I think you. what they had to say about being a little bit more emotional. When yeah, you're, when that you're, was a good point. I think that really um, would make a difference. That's a producer's oh, point yeah. of view. Mm-hmm. That was good. All right, oh. Yeah, I can't really add anything. I'm basically I'm with uh, Tiny over there. And D's. That's about it. No big deal. Yeah, especially, especially D's. No big deal. <laughs> well, what a surprise. <laughs> all right, Jekos, what's your You need to hush your pee, son. <laughs> hush your pee. You know what? It wasn't all bad. If it was on the radio, I wouldn't change station. All right, D's. Yeah, uh, I'm actually uh, I'm gonna get my radio on. Um, radio for me, Tanner. Radio, Coco. Radio. O squared. Doesn't matter, radio. Yeah, he's <laughs> on. <laughs> Doesn't there, there matter, is. radio. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, not, not too bad. You didn't get the worst rating on the show. You got if it was on the radio, we wouldn't change station, which is our second lowest rating, but still not bad. So. Uh, Keep working on it. You're still young. You got lots of time to uh, figure things out, and uh, hopefully you get better as time goes on. That's, That's all the I can thing. Tell you. You're 16. You're not yeah. 26. Yeah. You're not 36. You're Oops. 16. Right. Because right. if you were any older than 16, I'd probably say, uh, think about doing something else. Yeah. No. No. He's got. You've got time to get good. I mean, better. Yeah. <laughs> get better. <laughs> to get good. I mean, better. Uh, you've got time all to get right. better. You got time. No, and no. Right but now, you know what? Talent, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right now, we got time for something we haven't heard in a while, and that's a segment by my good friend. Woo! It's time for a season-ending oh, Vegemite sandwich. sandwich. Yeah, a season ending special. A season ending special. Shut up. Whoa, whoa, he's in a cowboy. Ow! He said a a season ending special. My sandwich. (laughs) Oh man! All right, Uh, I'm gonna hit on a couple uh, couple areas here. Let's see here. First will be. the TV shows we'll be uh, watching while we're on this hiatus. Real first quick, one, Jer- just so you know, you you have time. Oh, so because the the first the first artists were retarded, so you have a uh, plenty of time to talk. Thank you, sir. Okay. First show, Jersey Show. Boo yeah. Do you get anybody watch it? Are you oh watching? yeah. You, I've seen oh, all of them. I've oh, only seen all two three. Yeah. I've all seen of them. One episode so far. The oh. one where where the situation was ordering a pizza. Never seen What's the name, sir? Situation. <laughs> it's a, uh, what? Situation. S I T U A T I O N. Are you serious? Yeah, the name is Situation. Heat. Oh, yeah, it's heat. This seems to be heat. It's already MVP. Hey, uh, MVP? <laughs> that is so heat. What about J Wow when she's like, you got two options? Oh, yeah. <laughs> J Wow's hot, dude. What'd she I'm say? say she's all, stay in the house, get your ass beat, stay in the house, get your ass beat. <laughs> two options. I was like, boo, yow. Sleep with one eye. <laughs> that bitch is bad. Yeah, hey, the best part was when, uh, when the the grenades, the one that lost, lost her boob. Oh, oh, that was he. One of the, the lost chicken her, cutlet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they lost her big boob in the in the. In you the, know they have the, the, the patty and it's like rubbery. They didn't know what it was and it was floating in the hot tub. So they start. So what the guys did is they're like, "Hey, what's this?" And they started throwing it and playing catch with each other, and it dropped in the rocks. And who was it? Situations. Uh, it looks like a chicken cutlet, <laughs> and it really did. <laughs> Oh, Paul D. Uh, oh, it was Paul D. Uh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to the the fight between uh, J. Well and, and uh, Angelina. Uh, no, no, uh, the other uh, one, Sammy. Oh yeah, because in the previews, in With the previews, Sammy? no, no, in the previews, it shows her ripping her hair and throwing her on the flizzo. Yeah. Two things yeah. I want to say this real quick. Yeah, go ahead. Is one is I was have you seen the um when I was 17 on MTV that show when I was 17? Heard about it. Uh, J. Well's on there. 
dude, that bitch knows like judo. Like she knows real stuff. That's why she can sock it up so good. Wow. Dang. And plus she's big. She looks like she's buff. No, you know what? She's a Sasquatch. Yeah, but you know what? She's, but she's got when nice she, curves, When though. she has normal hair like she does now, she's way more attractive than oh, when yeah. she has she's that bl- bleach blonde crap like mixed in. With her normal hair now, she's very attractive. But I'm going to say this. is I Even though I heard this and I kind of agreed, I still wanted to watch it, and I'm glad I was wrong. And what I mean is, uh, you know, everyone was saying, and I kind of agreed, they can't recapture the same magic, you know. Jersey Shore, the first one, it was just they were new. They didn't know what they were doing. It was magic, and you can't recreate that. Wrong. They've recreated it, and it's still a great show. Yeah. So great job, you Jersey Shore losers. Yep. <laughs> the Guido. The Guido. Yeah. Anybody, anybody who can go out and get super drunk and have a three-way kiss with two ugly girls and then, like, good yeah, but you know feel good about it later Yeah, but you know what? Here's idiot. the thing. Yeah, Ronnie is an absolute idiot. jackass. Yeah. Oh. Dude. Hey, you know wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. He did all that, and then he went home and decided he was going to go sleep in the bed with his ex girlfriend. No, that's the only reason why I like him is because he's kind of funny. But that guy, he doesn't know jack scratch about anything. You know why? Because first season he was clowning situation for all the grenades. Dude, what are you eating? Peanuts? Oh, what the hell? Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> are you eating chicharrones? Hey, all I hear is, <laughs> hey, all, all I hear is, <laughs> I'm like, so any, so anyway, the, the, the situation. <laughs> He's eating chicharrones in the background, dude. Pig hey, skins. Damn, <laughs> man. You freaking dummy. So anyway. Is it crunchy um, taco night? <laughs> oh, it is every night in Mexico. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I want to say this, that. The show's fantastic, and Ronnie is a jackass because yeah. last season, he was, like, dogging situation. Because he was like, always with grenades. Oh, yeah, this guy. Well, they're going, and they're making fun of me because I found a girlfriend, uh, Sammy. Right. I, I found what I was looking for, this and that, and they're just jealous. And now he's like, oh, I'm going to outdo the situation. Like, you're an idiot, dude. Yeah, like, he, uh, he good. wants to creep, and he wants to be with exactly. Sammy. Exactly. Exactly. And Sammy wants nothing to do with it. She don't want to get played. No, no she's, she's been getting played all show, <laughs> son. She's been getting played no, all show. she doesn't sh- like it, though. No, she's but she's been getting played yeah. all, like, what, she three doesn't... episodes? Dude, I think that was kind of whack, the way her girl's, like, Send her a secret email, like to let oh, her know. Oh, that, that's going next on. episode. Yeah, yeah that's, the, no, no. Like, what? that's what's coming up. No, no, yeah. no. This is what's awesome. Who's which, which one's the guy with the low hair, with the, with the short hair? It's kind of bald. Vinny. 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 Oh. With the freaking long you, ass uh, eyebrows. You see so, those businesses? <laughs> hey, Weird someone, ass eyebrows. Someone at work told they me. Curl around his. Fuck, <laughs> they curl around his eyes almost. <laughs> All creepy. Someone at work told me that I guess him and Snooky were hanging out. They were both drunk. Right, she's got a boyfriend right yeah. back home. Emilio. She always, talk, really? she, always Emilio. Talks about, <laughs> she always talks about it or whatever. So they're sitting there, and they're just like chilling, and then all of a sudden they end up in his bed, and she's like, hey, so you want to screw? And he's like, sure. Yeah. <laughs> they hey, didn't screw. She's but they didn't show anything. No, 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 no. How do you know they didn't? You don't well, know they didn't. Yeah, from yeah, what we know, from what we know, what we don't know, we don't know if they did or didn't. Uh, it appears like they didn't, like they just fell asleep because they were too drunk. Like they no. Like, but know. how do you, you the next? Know. How do you the next morning get up from that? And the phone rings, and you answer the phone, and it's her boyfriend. Yeah. Oh, she's sleeping right now. Yeah. He answered the phone. And situation, like, straight called him out. How's that feel, buddy? Yeah. Because, cause, you know, from the last season, like, situation and, what sucks and is that her guy, messed, up, messed around. Hey, right. yeah. what sucks is right now that guy, Emilio, just saw that. He just saw that probably yes. for the first time and found that out. Like, I They're would probably hate broken to up be him. Hey, no, no, even if him. I was, I would drive down to her house and slap her in the face and drive back home. That sucks, dude. dude. She just mm. made you look like a stone-cold jive turkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, ne- next show that... Uh, that I enjoy is a Desperate Housewives of uh, New Jersey. Uh, have you, have you no seen idea. that one? What is that? Yeah, Jersey Licious? Forget about it. No, it's the one with no, uh, Danielle and. Is it good? Oh, speaking. Do they fight? Oh, yeah, they're speaking awesome. They went to Italy, right? Yeah, they went to Italy. Italy. They're, they're like, hey, uh, we gotta get out because they have a bunch of drama. Coco knows. There you go. Yeah, mm-hmm. they, they, they got a drama with, uh, with one girl. So they're like, oh, you know what? The, the girl is just talking. This is cool on vacation. Let's go Italy. Oh. So, so all of a sudden, let's go Italy. <laughs> Like that. Like, wait, that's what we're talking right now. You know that's what? Hey. That's how they roll. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Are oh, they? Oh, no. Are we losing O again? We're going to lose O. No. Yeah. Oh, we're Maru. losing you, dude. You don't even realize it. Oh, wait. What? Uh-oh. Oh, it's Uh-oh. getting ready to go. Don't 
say nothing. Oh no! Stay Bye. Yeah. Bye. Call back. <laughs> Wait, you ready? You ready for the bloop? <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Hey, so, Joe. So, so are these girls like that rich? Their husbands are yeah, rich. Husbands they just rich. stay home. So is that what the show is? It's yeah. kind of like the Orange County stuff. It's where exactly. It's like thing. each. But it's just in Jersey. Yeah. yeah. And they talk like this and yeah. they shouldn't have money, but they do. They're yeah, yeah. like Jersey Shore on crack. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's pretty good. That one's good. Because but they, you know what? But they got money. Wait, yeah. I was going to clown you, but I really can't because when I used to be at Bob's all the time, I actually got, I haven't seen the show now in a while, but I used to, I actually got hooked for a minute on a, uh, Bad Girls. Oh, really? Yeah, because... Was it Bad... No, no. It wasn't Bad Girls. It bad was Girls Club? Bad Girls Club. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Hello. What? How's oh, he's back. How's okay. Keep, how's keep it? And, yeah. and, and they actually did some wild stuff, so it's kind of like that where they, where they kind of fight and like are... Uh, it's not so much set up that they're going to fight. It's more um, about their lives yeah. and how it's they... It's just dramatic? Yeah. yeah. There's just drama. Is it good, though, or no? It's good. I, it's, I, I, I like, I like we, it. It is good. We what like channel it. is it on? It's Bravo? on Bravo. Yeah. Dude, Weeds is starting up again on Monday. That's a good show. Bravo. Weeds. I'm, Weeds. Dude, there's so many shows. Like, I want to catch up on. I, I haven't seen Dexter. Dirty Bob told me that show's bomb. Uh-huh. I want to oh, see yeah. Dexter. I want to see. DVR, boo. I don't have a DVR. I only oh, have. Well, right one. now, I think all the Dang. past episodes of Weeds are on demand. On demand. Right? On demand. On Season demand. one? Oh. Season one oh, through right, right, right. five on this. is on demand right yeah. now. Oh, shit. I'll check that out. Dude. I seriously sat through like a season and a half in one day at a friend's house. The show was that dope. But, but last but not least, the Pro vs. Joe's. Joe Booyah! Movie. Back again. <laughs> hey, they're freaking in a fight now. <laughs> Are they really? I saw the, the last one I saw was a w- w- work done and the, uh, one Dude, guy. Dude, hey, I started watching it and I fell asleep. Oh, oh man. That sucks. One of the guys. It looks so good. Yeah, one of the Joe's, he got in work, work done space like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, like, uh, oh, I hope Warren. Beat we're, we're, the crap out no, of they didn't fight. They're like, we're, we're, I was like, respect me, foo. Like, who do you think you are? The guy's like, you know what? The kid's on like, you know, talking in his mouth. But like, that wasn't good at all. No, it's yeah. not smart. Yeah, but but did did Warwick didn't like mash him like in the drills? No, he didn't like mash him. He just he beat him, but it wasn't like. Cause honestly, okay, who do you root for when you're watching it? The pros. Uh, it depends. Cause I want to see the pros beat up the Joes. No, I always root for the pros because here's the thing. It's always the Joes that come out like, we're bad, you're yeah. old, you're going to suck. Like, dude, you've done nothing. Okay, you want to brag about your high school and triple A college career? Congratulations. These these are people that have made it and have been in better shape for longer than you ever have been. Right. And I just hate it. I just I just think they need to show the, the, the pros respect. And I feel like they I never do. Hilarious. Yeah, they never, I think they never do. I think I saw a couple... Guys, give respect. But like, very rarely. Yeah, yeah. It's usually the Joes like, okay, we're going to beat them, right? They slow, they old, boom, yeah. And then what? You get beat. You s- hey, yeah, God, next, I want to punch them. The next episode, uh, what's the name gets in a fight? Uh, Who? Hakeem and one of the guys. Elijah one? Yeah. Elijah one? Does he break his arms? I don't know. This, this Dude, show, like, Elijah one's like, a big guy. So Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Now now going to sports real quick. Hakeem Wait, real fast. Dream. Yeah. Did you see when they when they, who was it? The one that that won the slam dunk contest that Jekyll Ooh, said no. Little bird. Be, um, the white boy. Oh. Brent Berry. Brent Berry. Brent Berry. Him, Rick Fox, and you saw it. Come on, you're better than that. The other one, and they were saying how. Oh, uh. Oh. They got Brent Berry. Again. White boy from the um. From the Sonic. No. You've seen him. Sucked him? Not Birdman. No, no, no. No, he's not. Uh, oh, my gosh. I can picture his face. He's white. looks like he's albino almost. Three-point shooter. Anyway, they were like, oh, they're slow. Boom, boom. This and that. And the pros are all, wait till game time, buddy. Guess what happened in game time? They're, and the pros had, or the Joes had their little, you know, six-point lead or whatever. Joe said, what's that mean to me? <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Remember that, babe? They were like, boom, boom, going back. Pros, pros catching up, take the lead, start draining, start draining. And they're just doing plays like old school plays from the pros. You know what I'm saying? From the pro area. And the Joes were faster, more athletic, 
but they're not as smart. They're not. They're not veterans. Right. They were clowning and talking. Oh, they're slow. They're old. They can't. Dude, Brent Berry said, "Oh, whoop, whiz by someone, damn, dunked on." I was like, "Oh, <laughs> dude, hey, it was so bad. Like, I want to punch the Joes in the mouth every time." That's funny. Oh God, that no, was good. Man. It made me feel good. But baseball, Dodgers, I don't know what to say. Really please, bad. Please, please don't. JB's not the closing role anymore right now. Oh, yeah. very disappointing. Has, you blow has Kemp even played the past couple games? Yeah. Yeah. He's doing he's, he's doing all right, but just he's doing all right. Our, our pitching is. Oh no, actually the whole team. Suspect. Yeah, they're not very as strong. Inc. We need a. We need something. We need some. Some love. I don't know. How about a real manager. No. no. Oh, I think our manager's fine actually. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Do you think so? <laughs> yeah. He's Watch ESPN, Jekylls. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm sorry, not manager, owner. Yes, okay, you're right there. That, okay. I, I, I said manager, I meant owner. I'm no, sorry. you're right. Oh, you know what I heard? Did you hear about the what's it, the Maloof brothers? The what? The Maloof was it? Uh, I'm saying it wrong. The Maloofs, they they own the the Kings. Oh, the Maloofs. Maloofs. Yeah. They're gonna buy the Dodgers. Please that's tell what, me. That's what I heard. That would be good for them. Yeah, but that would mean that because because the thing is is that the courts don't want to sell the Dodgers. The only way they're gonna sell them is if the court if it's court ordered. Yeah. So that needs to happen. To sell that needs to happen. What? I thought she wanted to sell. Yeah, because she wants. No, no, she's a greedy bitch. Yeah. And she wants all their money. She yeah. needs a hundred thousand dollars to live per month. <laughs> what is it? Yeah. No, no, he's not kidding. Yeah. Six hundred grand, dude. Jamie McCourt is ordered to get six hundred grand a month for living. Frank McCourt is taking out loans to pay her. He's been denied a $15 million loan from the bank. He's been denied, and he's the owner of the Dodgers, and he's been denied. He's borrowed from friends and family because he's trying to pay this bitch. And what happens is they had what a— What court is dumb enough to allow her that? No, no. California. They, yep. They That's actually so stupid. They actually had—, they, they, they had a, Joe knows this. They had a—, a they had a document signed that if anything was to happen as far as marital status, that they're no longer together, that Frank gets the team and Jamie gets the properties. Well, what happens is Jamie is fighting that, and they have the documents that say that she signed. And she says, I never signed them. I don't remember signing them. So what they're doing is they're actually – it's kind of like CSI business. Like they're actually looking at the staples in the paper and seeing how old they are to see if somebody added a paper in. And and if and, and basically if they can't come to a conclusion, they're saying it's possible that the judge can actually it's called a liquidation of assets, that the judge is actually he can actually by law uh, make them sell the team. But what it is is that can take wow. a long time. And and the problem is is that after two thousand after the two thousand twelve season, because the, uh, up until two thousand twelve, am I right, that the Dodgers have an agreement as far as uh, contracts go that they're under Fox, and after that they want to start their own network, the, their own network like their the own network? like like the Yes Network, like like George Steinbrenner did. Like the that's why it makes so, that's why they're worth so much more than everybody else because they have the because the Yes Network and the stadium is included in the ownership of it. Wow, that's why it's worth five hundred million dollars more than Dodgers, even though the Dodgers bring in the top five. Of all the teams every year, as far as attendance, they're in the top five every year, whether they're good or bad. The reason why the Yankees are worth so much more is because the stadium is in, is included and the Yes Network, which is the mm. Yankee channel. Right. So what it is is after 2012, the Dodgers can have their own channel, which will rake in lots of money. And Frank McCourt is trying to hold on until 2012. So he's borrowing money from people and telling them basically, hey, hold on with me. After 2012, we can start our own network and basically make a crap load of money. But the problem is, is if they can't get it decided, the judge can actually make them sell the Dodgers. So what we're hoping is that they make them sell the Dodgers. Right. Because even before the divorce, they never wanted to spend money. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're in the top five every year of attendance, correct? Yeah. yeah. And yet, what? We don't want to spend the money for players? The players that we have were like, come on, the trades that we did, and we got them for like dirt cheap. And that's just, and that's only because Ned Coletti worked his magic. We got Manny for free. Uh, we got Casey Blake Blake? with the Indians paying his salary. That's just because Ned Coletti worked magic, and we pretty much 
almost got players for nothing and worked out great deals. Gave up a couple of uh, guys in like you know double A, triple A, certain prospects. But he's pretty much worked out deals that we've been able to get players at such ridiculous cheap amounts that nobody's been able to get. So we're actually lucky to be in the position that we're in. Slick Nick. Because really, we should be a lot worse than we are. You know what I'm saying? You know that. Yeah, some teams make more than, or they spend more than us. Tampa Bay. How yeah. how are we? How are we in 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 like pretty much the same realm of spending money as Tampa Bay is? Are you joking? That's ridiculous. And Tampa Bay is vying for a championship, and they're a low mm. market. They're in what yep. St. James? Nobody goes there. You know what I'm saying? When, when they had the no hitter, perfect game. How many people saw it? Fourteen thousand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And honestly, we have forty. We average what, like forty thousand? Yeah. Like it's ridiculous. So, yeah. oh my god, I'm sorry. You, you shouldn't have brought that up. I'm just, I'm so mad. It's so, it's so ridiculous. Oy. All right. Ridi- sorry, little Joseph. Another ridiculous thing is a SC program. I'm, I'm kind of happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I wonder hey, why. Are you are you glad that I got to see uh, in Oregon the Ducks uh, pretty much wax that ass on uh, or on USC last year? Oh yeah, pretty dang exciting. <laughs> Give me some of that. Yeah, because uh, Reg Bush he finally he finally said apology today. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He's saying it. No, he didn't. He did. No, he didn't. What was he it? He talked to him. He never once said, here's what happens when you uh, drive uh, 180 miles every day <laughs> and you're in your truck. That's what the USA Today reported. He didn't. Oh, he's been wrong there. He spoke with him for 15 minutes. He never once said, I'm sorry. He never once said, I wish that. He, he said, he, they said that uh, what it was is he said that he was very trite. And he never once apologized for what USC is going through. Because that's what was reported. You're right. Yeah, yeah. No, you're you're absolutely oh. right. That and I wouldn't have known that if I'm if I don't drive all these freaking miles every day and in my truck. No, no, you're right. They reported that that he he didn't apologize, oh. and even in the report was was said, oh, I wish I I wish I can give my Heisman Trophy back. Yeah, never said that. Oh man, never said that. Come on, ESPN, you're better than that. And USA Today reported that you're better than that. USA Today, you're better than that. Come on, man. but Maybe. here's the thing, real quick. The the problem is is everybody wants to break the story first. Get why don't you guys get some facts and get some backups and get some good sources that you know you can trust. The the problem is is everybody wants to break the story first. And when you break the story first, you run you run the the chance of you getting the story a little bit wrong when you run the story first. That's Even true. Colin Coward said, he's like, I don't want to break the story first. He's all I want to break it right. Not first, a big difference. So they broke it, but not a hundred percent accurately. So, yeah, I'm just kind of like a bunch of cheaters. They're playing uh, football for for uh, nothing this year. Sorry about that. Yeah, <laughs> go, next two years. Hey, why don't you guys go twelve and <laughs> 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 and then go home? <laughs> why don't you guys beat it? Thanks for your twelve and no season. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, all right, tiny. Let's get on with the show. No, with the- no, no, no. Sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really long but you my sandwich. Yeah, he told you. All right, Tony. Last group of the night. Yay! I'm so sad. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> of the season. Of the season. Yeah, the last season. group of the season. Last group of the season. Make it a good one. All right. Uh, this group goes by the name Heavy Liquid. They do rock music out of SF. San I'm Francisco. Heavy Liquid in my wiener. Or San Fernando. Heavy Liquid is <laughs> good one. for its straight up rock style. Wait, what? what's their uh, rock and roll? Oh, yeah. Rock, rock and roll. Uh, if you're looking for a good time rock band, then Heavy Liquid will deliver. Like Domino's. All seconds. right. So the name of the song is called Master Plan. 30 seconds? It's <laughs> amazing. And this is Heavy Liquid. Oh, yeah, Wait, what's the name of the song? Master Plan.
Check out more of their music and go to myspace.com slash heavy liquid SF. Uh, you can find them facebook.com slash heavy liquid. Or if you want to email them for anything, you can email Ronnie Falaha. Ronnie Falaha. Farara. No, it's, it's <laughs> Falaha. Farara. R O N N I E F A L L A H A. Ronnie Fala at hotbell.com. If you want to check them out live, uh, nope. September 15th, 9 p.m., uh, no, Grant and Green in SF, and Folsom Street Fair in SF on September 26th. All right, let's do it. O squared. Yeah. Start it off. Um, all right. I thought it was just pretty much basic. Um, I didn't find yeah. it. Um, one of it was just all right. I, that's all I can say. Um, I thought the guitar was just okay. The drums were just basic. Um, the bass riff was just basic too. Um, yeah, even the singing was just it was just okay. It wasn't it was just okay. Your that's cr- all I can say. Your critique is basic. Right. <laughs> yeah. So basically, you're done. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Tiny, what you got? <laughs> you almost nice, <laughs> nice, nice, nice save. Hey, hey, hey. Go to Pocto. <laughs> Pocto's. <laughs> <laughs> nice save, dude. Uh, yeah, you know, I, uh, I thought this song was, um, was a bit comical. Um, it a was bit just, comical. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like the most unhard hard song ever. Yeah, it was like everything was just so like it wasn't tough, huh? It, everything was so like cliche tough, you know. It was like yeah. they had they had the the hard riff, but it wasn't hard. You know what I mean? They had the hard singer. Yeah, they had the hard, hard singer that wasn't really that hard. You know, the melody line was, was you know, was just awful. <laughs> uh, and the, you know what I mean? They didn't even showcase enough as instrumentalists that no, they didn't. You know, that I could, you know, give them, you know, props on that. No. Uh, and so, yeah, kind of to echo what O said, uh, pretty basic across the board. Um, and it was, I don't know, it was just, uh, I, I found it kind of amusing. All right. That's that's where I'm at. Right, Coco? Oh, okay. Um, I just felt like it was really simple, the lyrics, and um, it kind of reminded me of kind of like a 
pop rock, <laughs> I guess you could say. Yeah. It uh, was, you yeah. Know, um, the guitar solo, I felt, was just kind of mild. It wasn't really, like, Not anything. Not spicy at uh, all. No. Anything extreme or anything like that. Um, but overall, I guess it, it would be something I would hear maybe, like, on an easy listening type of <laughs> you know, station. Oh, Dang. clown. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listening. it's not really. You're not wrong, though. It's not really like hard rock, you know. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I mean, I, I guess it's something you, someone might listen to. Yeah, Kenny G. <laughs> <laughs> I jiggles. These are the guys that say I play in a rock band. All I do is Barry play in a rock band. Yeah. Quitters. Barry's tight though. I right, jiggles. What you got? Hated it. No, I'm joking. Uh. <laughs> Uh, no, um, honestly, it was just very, very mediocre. Everything was, about it was mediocre from the singing to the writing to basically any, any regular garage band with any kind of regular talent could play and do this song. Yeah. And so it just didn't stand out to me because it's just it, it's like everyone's been saying it was very basic. Right and I'm just going to leave it at that. Cool. All right, Diesel. Yeah, um, I, th- I think you're right. Um instrumentally they were they were fine but because they didn't take any chances <laughs> so yeah. you know mm. um and what's weird yeah. is to save. What, what, what yeah exactly what's weird is the the guitar solo sounded awesome and i realized why because the re- <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome compared to what he was playing next to right and i was like i found myself but like yeah this guitar solo's awesome <laughs> Wait, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, yeah, <laughs> you tricked me, in. sir. Yeah, exactly. Touché. And I, I was like, uh, I thought the intro was cool, and it reminded me of a slash between Metallica and uh, Boiled Eye Socket Dysfunction. <laughs> the intro, yeah. And then it let me down. Honestly, you're just a cool karaoke singer. Like, uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Man. Wow. No, there are some really good karaoke singers, and you're yeah. one of them. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, he didn't have that really strong, no, edgy, not like, at all, rock not voice. All. Yeah. Um, you don't honestly. You don't even need a good voice to sing to this track. Mm-hmm. You don't need. You just need um, timing. No, no. You, <laughs> what you need is you. You need a, a distinguishable voice. Mm-hmm. You don't need a great voice to sing to this. Right. Because what you're doing is what we call in the karaoke business faking it. All I need, like you sing to your strength. Wow, that was pretty good. You know what I'm saying? You're not a real singer. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be a dick, but you're, you don't. To me, you don't sound like a real singer. You sound like someone that's like, wait a minute, I can hit those three notes. Let's do it in that, and that's what you're doing. Right. And mm. unfortunately, that really, for the most part, doesn't work. He needs a little bit of more emotion. Yeah. Maybe. Uh-huh. Um, and I just thought your verses, um, not too hot, um. I don't know. The I, hook wasn't catchy at I, all. I either. felt like it probably took you thirty seconds to write this song. Your mm. lyrics were not great, um, so it, it's kind of it. It just feels. I I feel like I could have written this song and we could have put this together in thirty minutes. Yeah. You know what wait I mean? Wait a minute. We've done that. Oh wait a minute. And better. <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, you just need. I I really feel like you guys need to take more chances uh, musically. You guys need to play maybe like th- I didn't really hear any bridges. Play a bridge. Well, there was there was a solo part that went over in the bridge. But, but that was a solo though. That was just like a, that was just like a guitar like like kind of trying to showcase. Look mm-hmm. at me. <laughs> Not too hot. You know what I mean? Like I just felt like musically you guys could take more chances. Lyrically you could take more chances. Lyrically you could take more chances. Everything. I felt like you could have <laughs> taken more chances. Take more chances. <laughs> Especially lyrically, you know what yeah. I mean. Like I feel like because I, I, I mean honestly, I felt like if if we if we right here because I know we got a guitar player here, I know we got a bass player here, I know we got a singer here, and we got Joe, and it's kind of like <laughs> it's kind of like if we sat down and been like we could have just been like you know what I mean like I came here and I did my show. What happened, man? I really don't know. Like that's the song, dude. It's a like hit. it's so like if that's a hit in your mind, then I just wrote a hit and you're welcome. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it just I just felt like it was so half assed that it, you really didn't put much into it. And like Coco said, a little bit of emotion, a little bit of I, I just felt like you half assed it, to be honest with you. 
Wow. You know what I'm saying? And and I just and I feel like you guys aren't talentless. Like that's not even what I'm saying at all. Right. Because even even playing basic it still takes a talent. It's like when Simon is on American Idol and he tells them, You played it too safe. People won't remember that. That is thank you, Simon. That is exactly what it is. You played it too safe, people won't remember it. I guarantee you, you I could play this song for anybody and thirty minutes later I'll be like, Remember that song? He'll be like, What song? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It just I'm sorry it didn't stand out, but I, I'm not saying you don't have talent because I think you guys do have talent. You guys, you guys just need, I think, need to expand on. You guys really need to come up with ideas on how to make a really good song. And if in, the, in your mind this is a good song, then you're in trouble. You know what I'm saying? And I know you guys can do a lot better, and I want you guys to do better. Like, I'm not wishing you guys, like, bad luck. I want you guys to do better. And if you guys, in my opinion, if you I guys. Careless. No, I want them to do better. <laughs> they need to leave their mark on. Yeah, leave your mark. On your underwear. Good job, babe. Yeah. No, no that's me. <laughs> Here's the thing. Don't be basic. Yeah, don't be basic. And I just feel like I just feel like you guys can do so much better. And you guys were just like kind of like exactly what he said, playing it safe. Yeah. All the rock stars play it raw. Take I don't know what that chances. means. All right. I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. <laughs> but go ahead. Were you done, sir? I'm done. All right. You know what? Well, I was thinking of uh, you guys should order Domino's on online because I have a new thing. When you're you order idiot. it, uh, you're an idiot. When you order it, it has a little uh, timer on there. It says start it bakes it. Then it Does it really? Yeah, it's for real. You're okay. joking, right? No, cause I ordered it the other day because I want to, I want to try the new Domino's. No, because I heard that. No, it, it, I had looked on on the screen online. I was like, I don't see if it works. <laughs> it works perfectly. Are you kidding? You mean online? Yeah, because you, you order online. It says you order yeah. it. This is uh, they're making it. The yeah. The green is on. The quality check. Delivering. Yeah, yeah, right. Do it. I ordered the yeah. the, the two medium pizzas for five. Order some right now. We're hungry. Right. So the bottom line is take some chances and order yes. some Domino's <laughs> online. Online. I'm down with that. I watch the timer. Open anymore? It's 11:30. So, uh, Tiny, what's your vote? <laughs> <laughs> I would not listen to this again on purpose. Oh. Uh yeah, same. Keep it real. Coco. Uh, Limewire. Ooh, Jekos. Radio. If it's on radio, in the station. Diesel. Eh. <laughs> That means never listen to it again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Order it on uh, online. Well, order it online? <laughs> <laughs> That's my vote. All right. So Radio. basically, no one's going to listen to it again on purpose. It's pretty much what it averages out to. Sorry, guys, but that's what it is. Great way to end our season. But, yeah. Uh, Thanks a lot. If punks. you enjoyed the show and you want to find out anything about any of the artists that were on the show, you can check out all their information on our website, nobodycareshow.com. Contact info, pretty much uh, when they have shows. Where to listen to more music We're pretty informative uh, Also if you would like to As go back tell. And check out any of our past shows <laughs> You can go to iTunes Or you can go to Zoom Marketplace And you can zoom, upload zoom, them to zoom. your MP3 player and listen to them All of them it, It's worth it It's time to catch up It is time to catch up Do it we thank everybody who's been with us this season, who's enjoyed all 163 episodes, yeah. or even just part of them. But uh, we're glad you guys came along in that journey with us, and uh, we promise when we come back after our little hiatus to be stronger, better, and... Uh, Wiser. Well, we can't promise that. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to break any I don't want to break any promises. So. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so don't make any promise. Okay. Well, here's the promise. We'll, have we'll fun. be back. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. And we'll be back. And we'll be having fun doing what we do. There exactly. You go. That's, that's a good yeah. that's a, I can deliver All the on that. stronger faster stuff. No, don't do that. But we can rebuild it. <laughs> we can no, no. We'll be back. Long seasons, Thank you Coco way. for being yeah, on the show we finally. That out. <laughs> we appreciate you finally being on the show Thanks, Coco. Babe. Thank oh, you. I hope you come back. Oh. Thank you. Oh, we miss you. Yeah. Come back sometime. I hope to let you back. Bring me a sombrero. Hope you come back. Can I have a shot glass from Mexico? <laughs> yeah. Shouts out to O Squared Entertainment and also House of Blues Productions. You guys still do that? Yes. Yeah. Where's O? Shouts Batman? out to. I don't know. He's stuck in the town of Mexico. <laughs> I don't know. Town. I said town. town. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Yeah. The reason we have to end the season. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
Hey there, oh, yeah. I don't know where you are, uh, are you stuck in Guadalajara? <laughs> <laughs> Then eat some mentis, especially if you're in aguas calientes. Do <laughs> <laughs> it. <laughs> Come back, man. Only if you wanna. Where you at? Only in Tijuana. <laughs> 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 You come back, have a new look though, because you might have been in Acapulco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, we are out. Peace. Season one of Vinyls. Oh, man.